Hi, I'm Mitch. Welcome to the workshop. Today I'm tackling uh, the base of the church crib that I'm restoring. And it's got a number of problems from having been stored in um, not ideal conditions during most of the year. Obviously it only comes out at the uh, December, early January. The rest of the year it's stored away. And we've got water damage on the hardboard top. We've got water staining on most of the structure. The legs, these two are not too bad, although they are a little bit loose. The two at the other end, these really are in a pretty poor state and uh, not sound at all. The mitered joints of the, the top rail have uh, been forced apart. I imagine someone's been climbing on it and it's, it's only been designed for holding uh, the nativity scene. Last but not least, we've got some damaged... Um, trim here which is starting to come off and uh, it all needs replacing. So let's make a start. I'm going to start by removing the trim. I've got a long flat screwdriver, got some pincers and also got a small wrecking bar and that really shouldn't take me too long to get that done. To be careful of the pins, there are plenty of them and uh, don't want to jab myself with any of those. All but one of the pins came out uh, on the trimming and it makes sense before I jab myself to remove them all otherwise I'm just leaving what is a, a dangerous obstacle around for myself with the trim all removed it's a great time to go around and sand all those surfaces off before I disassemble the legs The legs are currently fitted with some metal brackets and uh, it really doesn't do a particularly good job. And I think uh, it would be nicer and uh, be more effective to have some wooden brackets in there. So I'll be cutting some of those and then just tightening the whole of the joint up a little bit. Here I'm just using a biscuit jointer to cut some slots in each of the four corners of the base uh, into which I shall install some oak splines and that will really strengthen it up.
The pseudo timber frame structure of the crypt had been covered with a, an awful opaque brown finish of some sort. They didn't show any of the character of the wood, so one of my main tasks was removing that. A lot of the work with hand scrapers, uh, but also in some areas I was able to plane. One of the problems I have is this joint here, it's uh, lapped onto the back half of this post and uh, it actually had four screws through it but for some reason it was still loose. It wants to be taken apart occasionally so I don't want to glue it. What I've done is recessed a bolt in that joint and that, that's pulled it out really nice and tight. It would have been a better way to have done it in the first place. I had to repair some quite alarming damage to the ends of three of the corner posts where I think there'd been a drag along the floor and the end had split out. So I, I glued in new material. I couldn't match the old pine, but uh, it needed to be done, so this will be fine. And uh, flush it up. And obviously to try and prevent so much damage in the future, I uh, put a bevel on the end. The front and back panels are tied together by side panels, which intersect with the corner posts using a, a tongue and groove joint. Uh, where the tongue's made up of a uh, sandwich of hardboard. <laughs> it's really worn out over the years and doesn't function very well at all. So I'm creating a brand new joint. Hopefully rounding the edge off will uh, make it last a little bit longer this time. On a gentle restoration like this, I like to save as much of the original material as I can, but the roofing panels were in such a state I actually ended up starting anew, only imagining to save a few of the tiles. And to top it off, a uh, ridge board, which the original didn't have, but it just makes it a little bit tidier, and I'm probably going to make a little star to go on the front there. And I guess I'll be waiting until Christmas to see whether anyone notices the difference. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Cheerio!